everyone, and welcome to Universal Studios. It's Mardi Gras. We're here to enjoy all the festivities for Mardi Gras, the food, the entertainment, and of course, today, we're gonna be in the Mardi Gras parade. So come along with us here at Universal for Mardi Gras, and as they say, la c'est le bon temps roulé. Allons-y. Our first stop, of course, on our food tour here for Mardi Gras had to be the Brazil booth. I've been eyeing this booth ever since. I saw it a few weeks ago. And I got the picanha skewer, skewers, which are um, beef sirloin skewers with chimichurri and pau de queijo. Mm. That chimichurri sauce is so good, so flavorful. And uh, it's always one of my favorite things. An excellent way to start off our day for Mardi Gras here. Universal is busy today. Of course, it is a uh, holiday weekend and Mardi Gras is officially tomorrow, uh, which will be when this video goes out. But yeah, it is, it's busy right now. Everybody's out here having a good time. The weather's beautiful. The food's great. Music's fantastic. What a great day. All right, next up, we went to the Indonesia booth and got the uh, Indonesian style chili crab. It's a soft shell fried crab with like a, almost like a curry chili on it and a fried hanpu, which looks uh, kind of like a, just like a bread, like a little roll or something. So we'll dig in here. That's really good. It's like a tomato based chili, um, very spicy. And that crab is super good in there. Very flavorful. But yeah, if you are uh, sensitive to spicy food, this might not be for you, but I'm enjoying this. This is fantastic. And to wash it down, I got the uh, Bali Punch. It's Indonesian rum, guava, and lime. With a little bit of bitters in there, and then they serve it with like a uh, uh, sugar, sugar cane stick. Oh, and that's the fantastic complement to that, that uh, chili crab. It's sweet and uh, refreshing. Perfect balance to that spicy crab. That is fantastic. I think definitely my favorite thing about like these festivals at this park and any of these parks is that you can walk around and try different foods from all over the world. Uh, I mean, in just a few short steps, I went from Brazil to Indonesia and had a couple things that I had never tried before. And you know, the portions are a little bit smaller, so you can try a bunch of different stuff. However, I will say at this festival, the last two dishes I've got have been a little bit on the expensive side. That crab was like $19. And so, while it's not cheap per se, I will say that it's a good uh, deal and that you're not wasting food and you can kind of split it between a few people and, and just have a couple small bites of a bunch of different things, which is really nice. So I definitely enjoy that. I'm gonna finish this drink and then we'll go find a little bit of entertainment before we move on to uh, going to get in our wristband to get in the parade tonight. All kinds of performers coming out here, lining in the streets. Hello. People on stilts. This is so festive and awesome. I love this already. There are some more other characters there getting ready for the parade. It's so awesome. I love all these character interactions in this park. It's so much fun. It's a Mardi Gras party without a bag of beignets. Came over here, 
got us some beignets. We'll shake them up. We'll dig in. I'm so happy to say that these beignets are fresh and hot and absolutely covered in powdered sugar. Oh, they're too good. Too good. I'm gonna eat these while I walk over to um, the animal actors area to check in for the parade. Has anybody ever eaten a beignet without either inhaling the powdered sugar or just getting covered in it? If you know the trick, let me know, because I did both this time. Absolutely covered in powdered sugar and almost choked to death on it too. So this is my first Mardi Gras here and already I love it. I love the music and the atmosphere, so much fun and the food has been amazing so far. I've only had a few dishes, but what I have had has been absolutely fantastic. So super looking forward to getting more food after the parade and uh, hopefully it all lives up to the same quality. It's delicious. Left a quick ride on ET. It is almost time to check in for the uh, parade. And I guess like this being my first Mardi Gras, I should have looked up a little bit more about what, what it is, what to expect, where to go, where the par parade route is even. I have no idea. All I know is that I am super excited to uh, be able to toss some beads tonight, which right now I am woefully underdressed. I don't have any beads on, so we gotta fix that. So as soon as I get there, get on the float. I hope I can film. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film. I might have to switch over to my uh, cell phone. Um, so the video might switch quality a little bit when I get on there, but uh, but we'll see. Who knows? But I gotta get some beads on either way, so it's almost time. Let's head over there and get checked in. Check in for the parade float riders is right over here at the uh, animal actors uh, stadium thing. So we're gonna head over there, see what we need to do to do to get checked in. I'm all checked in. I've got my fancy uh, apron here. I'm on the title float, and uh, we just gotta wait for everybody to get checked in. We've got my float assignment, got my, my uniform. I'm ready to go. Let's get this party started. So they let us kind of wander around for another 45 minutes or so, go to the restroom, get a drink of water or whatever. And while I was on my way out, the woman who was uh, getting me checked in was telling me that I'm on one of her favorite floats, which is Tidal, and that it is one of the oldest and it's the heaviest float they have here. It's, uh, it's over 30,000 pounds because it's just so huge. It's like the biggest float they have also. So I'm super excited to be riding that tonight. So we checked in. Next time you see me, I'll be on title slinging beads. Oh, which one is it? Is it this one? Yeah! Is it back there? Yeah! What about this one? Yeah! My people in the green? Yeah! All right, all right. What about over here? Right? On our way to the float now, following our beat captain. Man, I'm so ready for this. Underway, we got the beads going out to the crowd. Everybody's getting pelted. It's a great time. Was something else. As you can see there were a few beads left over so I'm gonna take these home and uh, that was so much fun. I cannot believe like I, the, the energy in the crowd and like throwing the beads and everything and the music. It was just ah, ah, so much fun. I loved it. 
local. I'm gonna meet up with a few friends right now. We might grab some uh, some food or something like that. But uh, I think I'm gonna end it here just so I can enjoy, you know, the rest of the night. And uh, I appreciate you guys coming along. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you haven't, my name is Travis. Happy Mardi Gras, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.